Okay, perfect. All right, so hi everyone. Hey. Um, good afternoon for uh, good afternoon for those in Europe and good morning for those uh, good evening for those in in Asia. Um, it's about seven o'clock here in Taiwan. So, but first of all, I'd like to uh, thank Sarah Bing for inviting TPA uh, or Taiwan Tech Arena to participate in this uh, ecosystem summit and meet like-minded people. I feel so privileged to be here. So my name is Yo, and I'll be presenting. I'll be representing Taiwan Tech Arena to tell you a bit about uh, what we do, um, in uh, what we do here in Taiwan, and what's currently happening in our startup ecosystem. All right, so um, okay. So basically, um, TTA is a flagship startup ecosystem building program launched by the Ministry of Science and Technology. Um, so in order to understand why Ta uh, TTA is such an important program for Taiwan, and let's get to know a bit more about our country. So as many of you might already know, and Taiwan is a pretty high tech country. Uh, we have over four decades of manufacturing background. Uh, pumping out not only the most high-tech ICT products, but the most, uh, but also most, uh, but also intricate medical device and advanced materials. So our science parks, okay, which cover uh, the 13, so we have 13 of them across the country, uh, generate over 80 billion US dollars of revenue per year. And we also have closeness industry cluster uh, from the software uh, software clusters. Um, in the north, precision manufacturing in the central region and uh, to a more traditional petrochemical uh, industry in the, in, in the south. So uh, basically, uh, we're number one in semiconductor and ICT industry. Uh, sorry, semiconductor IC packaging and number two in IC design, safety, LCD and personal, uh, and we're number three in personal computer. So, yeah, and in terms of our global competitiveness, okay, um, the IMD, a Swiss uh, organization, uh, ranked us 11 in terms of competitiveness in 2020. And the World Economic Forum okay, uh, also ranked, uh, ranked us pretty high. Okay, they ranked us 12 in 2019. And unfortunately, the, this year's ranking is a little bit different uh, because they focus more on the road to recovery. Uh, the World Bank Group ranked us 15 okay, uh, for doing business, and the Economist ranked us um, 16 for, for our business environment. So, um, and nine of our enterprises made it to the uh, Fortune Global 500 company in 2020. So we're pretty proud of that uh, performance. Now, so we're doing pretty good, right? We're doing pretty well. So what's next for us? Well, as you guys may know, um, uh, what Jack Welch said, hey, we, we need to change before we have to. So, um, and as you guys know that the Fortune 500 companies that were listed 30 years ago are rapidly being replaced by technology companies such as Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Salesforce, and Uber. So, so as Taiwan, uh, who has been riding uh, on the same way for over 30 years, hey, our high tech industries really do need more innovation, new solutions, and fresh application for our existing technology to, to keep up with the game. And we believe that startup is the bridge that will take our high tech industry into the, into the future. And that's the inception of TTA. So our, our vision basically is to build a vibrant international startup ecosystem in Taiwan. And we were officially launched uh, in June of 2018. Uh, our mission is to serve as a launching pad for global startups because we have such complete uh, supply chain and we also have very strong manufacturing background. Okay? And we hope to be the cultural fusion hub for international startups because we believe that uh, founders, they need to support each other in order to succeed. And so basically we want them to come to TTA and share their experience from other countries or other cities to, uh, to help each other, support each other. And then we want to serve as the voice of Taiwan okay, uh, to show the world that we are an ideal place to start your business and also a, a wonderful place to invest. All right, so this is our comprehensive approach. So basically 
uh, GTA um, serve to connect. Uh, what our goal is to serve as a platform to connect uh, technology, talent, market, and capital um, between Taiwan and the world. So our um, main vertical includes uh, AI software and semiconductor. Okay, we work with local and international accelerators. Um, we have to date okay, supported over 380 local and international startups. We also work with a network of uh, investors and enterprises. Okay? And then we provide a 3000 square meter of co-working space uh, in the heart of Taipei. So if you guys ever have a chance to come around, here, please feel free to visit us. Right? Hopefully maybe this year, we really hope to uh, receive some foreign guests. All right, we also provide marketing and exhibition and media relations for our startups. Uh, so here are some examples of our uh, of uh, the exhibitions and the startup activities that we join. Like in Taiwan, local startup ex uh, exhibitions include Innovex that happens in June, and then uh, Me Taipei in in November. Uh, which fortunately this year we were actually able to have it in uh, a physical event, and Ellie was actually there as our. As, as one of our guests at our international forum. So thank you again, Ellie, for being so wonderful. And our international exhibitions, we join exhibitions like, uh, of course, uh, CES and at Las Vegas. Um, this year, um, it's all online. Okay, so we also go to uh, other startups, uh, other startup exhibition in, uh, in Asia, like in Singapore, in Europe, like in Paris, uh, also in Germany, and also, of course, we attend Tech Crunches Club in San Francisco. For this year, um, we let oh, we let one hundred startups. Last year was eighty two startups to CES. This year was a hundred startups. So this is the scale of of uh, of work that we do. Um, and this is our virtual booth, which is um, which is linked to the CES booth. So if you visit uh, our startups at CES, you you get the link to this uh, to our virtual booth. And just over the past few days, we already had like uh, close to set one hundred seventy thousand views. And uh, the one hundred startups that we led to CES, uh, we focus mainly on five uh, verticals, which include smart living, healthcare and wellness, cybersecurity and cloud solutions, mobility tech, and tech for good. Okay, so this is just uh, a fraction of what we do. Uh, and over the past two years, we've been, uh, we, we see an emerging trend uh, of returning talent. So we're really happy about this because we actually have a lot of um, second generation Taiwanese uh, overseas who are returning back, who are returning to Taiwan. So the most notable person I, I, I would like to mention is uh, YouTube co-founder Steve Chen. He came back, he first came back in 2018 and he loves it. So in 2019, he and his family moved back to Taiwan. Yeah, and then, and then he started inviting uh, his fellow entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley um, to see um, our ecosystem, to understand our ecosystem. And as they came, they all fell in love and they extended their stay. Um, and, and with the uh, pandemic, last, outbreak of the pandemic last year, people in the Bay Area, a lot of, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, especially, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Asian born, um, are actually, you know, they, they call themselves a health crisis refugee. Okay? They, a lot of them came to Taiwan to seek a COVID free life. And, and a lot of them were quite, impressed with our ecosystem and they say that you know they, they, they're gonna a lot of them are, 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 are thinking of um, starting their business here and the government hey, actually makes it quite easy for them as well because uh, these entrepreneurs can actually apply for um, the uh, employment gold card which is good for three years so uh, if you're interested um, in joining our ecosystem uh, please feel free to contact me Okay, so yeah, just, just to uh, 
uh, just to go over briefly uh, the accelerators that we work with. So these are the five accelerators that uh, our key partner, uh, they're actually housed at TTA at the moment, along with uh, 80 startups at any given moment. And we also work with other local uh, accelerators okay? and also overseas accelerator. Uh, we work with uh, Alchemist, Plug and Play and Skydeck. Uh, this is for our Taiwanese startups that want to launch a business overseas. And so we also have counterparts like uh, the Canadian uh, Technology Accelerator and Fetch Tech Taiwan. Uh, we also work very closely with, with corporate partners and um, they, they look to our startups for, for fast uh, for solutions to solve their problem. And as you, as you guys know, uh, the bigger the enterprise, the slower the innovation. So a lot of our a lot of our corporate partners are looking for solutions uh, from us from our startups. All right, so that's it about um, what we do at TTA and our current status at the moment. So if you guys are interested, hey, here's my email address. So please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for sharing about Taiwan and what. Um, your your efforts in Taiwan Tech Arena, um, just like with um, Joseph, can you put your email as well in the chat so people can reach out um, to you after the event as well? Yes, sure. Sorry, I think I went overboard a bit. <laughs> I have a couple of seconds, right? No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you for the opportunity. Bye, everyone. No, I'll be asking.